everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today I will be your host. And we are going to be discussing the biggest runner of 2020 today, and that is Tesoro Enterprises, uh, TSNP, otherwise known as Humble Stock. Uh, But before we get into that, a few housekeeping issues. Uh, We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this is not investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, and consult with your nearest financial investment advisor if you have any questions. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. With that out of the way, remember to go over and give us a thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button, the notification bell, so you'll be notified when we go live with a new article. Also, uh, remember to go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com if you want a first look at uh, stock penny stocks like TSNP. Uh, we alert to our subscribers first uh, via email or if you're in the U.S. via SMS. Um, this is where you get your first look at today's hottest penny stocks. And our subscribers were in early on TSNP uh, at point triple uh, zero eight, and uh, now they're sitting on over a twenty six thousand percent gain. So if you put a thousand bucks in, uh, you'd be sitting on over two hundred thousand dollars. And this is how we've said in our previous videos, and we cannot stress this enough. Um, you, when you invest in penny stocks, you approach it like you are your own venture capitalist. Do never put, ten, you know, if you have ten thousand dollars to invest, you don't put it all on one. You diversify. You put it amongst, you know, ten different good quality penny stocks that you think are uh, are going to do well. Not everyone is going to be a winner, but all it takes is one, two, or three. You know, a TSNP, an ENZC, a NEO, an MMM EDF. These have been the biggest winners uh, uh, so far this year for our subscribers. So these are the ones uh, you're looking for, and they make up for uh, any losers that you have. And losing is part of investing. If you go into investing thinking you're not going to lose sometimes, uh, you're uh, kidding yourself. And speaking of losing, uh, I really want to uh, start this video off with talking about yesterday's price action. Uh, TSNP closed the day down 37% at uh, 16 cents. Look, TSNP, you know, it started the run down here. Uh, We've seen this shot up. Please, folks, stop buying green days. Okay, (laughs) if you, this is, TSNP is a buy the dip, sell the rip play now, okay? There's volatility, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. You're going to see this stock, you know, multiple 50% crashes. It is just inevitable. This is the OTC. Um, This is, uh, it it just, we've seen it too many times. So, you know, when folks are like, I bought at 30 cents and it's down, well, you know, at 30 cents, you're supposed to be selling, you know, you're not supposed to be buying the top on these deals. You know, people get into this FOMO, you know, the fear of missing out thinking that it's, it's going to keep going. Look, yes, this is, this one will keep going, but it's going to have corrections and you want to buy the corrections. So yesterday was a prime day to buy the dip. We're already looking at pre-market. We're looking at 25 cent, you know, up uh, 52% in the pre-market. So, you know, folks, you know, this is how you make money now in, in, in TSMP. You know, you have to, you know, swing trade it, buy the dips, sell the rips. And one of the big reasons why you need to do this 
is, you know, yesterday, uh, you know, before the sell-off, it was at a $1 billion market cap. And, you know, right now, as a, a, after the close, it, it's at a $650 million market cap. And, you know, we're going to hear the endless bears going, oh, it's overvalued, it's overvalued. Well, we've heard that about Amazon. We've heard that about Alibaba, you, you know, Google, uh, Zoom, Tesla. You can go on and on. You know, the reality is investors are banking on a growth story. And that is in and TSMP, humble stock, has one of the best growth stories we have probably ever seen on the OTC markets. And, and what I suggest you do um, is go over to humblepay.com, which is their website. You go over to investors and then you click on investor call. And, you know, it's 47 minutes and it is a must watch. If you are involved in this stock at all, you need to watch the whole video. And, and you know, we, before today, you know, we yesterday's sell off and before we watched this video, there was a part of us, you know, that's thinking, you know, this is starting to get out of hand. You know, this TSNP, I think it's, it's run too far, too fast. You know, let's you know maybe it's 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 time to to sell book profits, walk away, and and after we watched the video and and heard you know Brian Foot uh, with his presentation, uh, we're just as bullish as ever, and you know there's there's a number of things that we really really like about what uh, he is doing, what the team at Humble is doing, and. You know, it's really, it's it's a if you look at what the the humble app is, it's a social platform combined with a payment app. So, you know, users on it can share experiences. They can chat with their their contacts, their friends. Also, trend you know, send money, make payments. Uh, you know, use. Uh, uh, the, the, their their mobile app, you know, the hum, humble app, to basically seamlessly, you know, do everything that they need to do in terms of contacting people and, and making payments. And, you know, really, we're, we were thinking, you know, well, what is the humble app? Um, at, at first, you know, what he had explained, you know, Brian Foote, and, and he said that, uh, you know, the, the goal is to, um, you know, He's focusing on the people that do not have Apple Pay. He said, you know, in the past, we didn't build Humble for the 450 million digital customers using Apple Pay, but for the 7 billion people for whom money has a totally different set of global pathways, access points, and cost structures. So we're thinking that it's it's going to be a, come another Venmo, another Zelle, another PayPal, but his model is much, much bigger. He's going after the Alibaba model. And the Alibaba model, for, for anyone that's not familiar with, with Alibaba, in, in China, they've gone cashless. I mean, people are doing everything uh, via their mobiles, and, and it's all through Alibaba, Alibaba Marketplace, which sells you know, good services. And then you have Alipay, which is their, their digital payment platform. Um, to make payments, and then you have Ant Financial, which is their, um, their their financial arm, which was going to be the world's largest IPO until Jack Ma, um, he had diarrhea of the mouth, and he said some things at a conference that was critical of, of, of the leadership of China and how they run things in terms of, of financial services and regulations, and, and he got bitch slapped. Uh, they they put a halt to his IPO. Um, you know he, he was going to make billions and billions of dollars uh, with this IPO, and and he got bitch slapped in a big way. And um, you know so you know Alibaba. Everyone says, oh, Alibaba is going to crush them. No, Alibaba right now is tied up with uh, trying to save face and and hoping uh, hoping uh, President Xi. Uh, doesn't uh, you know really crack down on 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 Alibaba, which which has become a monopoly, and 
you know, this is really, it was, it was pointed out in the video, and, and that's really where this has become an eye-opener for us. And, and what he's looking to do, Brian Foote, is he's looking to disrupt, uh, you know, the social uh, payment uh, apparatus. And, you know, for those that, that want to be skeptics and, and knock the company and, and knock the stock, you know, they're saying, oh, it, it's overvalued, it can't happen. Well, look at Robinhood. I mean, Robinhood completely uh, upended the, 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 the brokerage industry. And, you know, by, by basically offering free trading, uh, everyone getting, you know, they, they make their money off of, off of order flow, this, the, you know, getting paid by Citadel and the other firms for order flow. So, you know, that completely disrupted the, the, the brokerage industry. Now, all, all of them went to uh, commission-free trading. And, you know, what he's trying to, what Brian Foote is trying to do is he's trying to disrupt uh, the the financial services industry in terms of mainly cross border transactions, and you know the first thing that they have done, um, you know in their in their beta test is you know and you can watch this video. It's a short three minute video, and in how you know a, a group of friends went to from San Diego, drove over the border to Mexico and interacted. They were able to send money. They were able to make payments. Uh, they, were, they were able to, you know, go to merchants that accepted Humble. And it was all done seamlessly. I mean, there's, if, if for any of you that have gone to Mexico, you know it's mostly a cash-based society. So you show up with U.S. dollars, they don't accept U.S. dollars. I mean, some do, but, you know, mostly, you know, their currency is the Mexican peso. So you need to go find pesos. You got to go to an ATM, pull out pesos, make make uh, payments, and then you end up going back across the border with all these pesos. Then you're like, well, what am I going to do with them? So, you know, there's a real strong demand for humble uh, in, in, in what they're trying to do. And, you know, by achieving, you know, meeting a market demand, um, it's, it's creating a, a lot of enthusiasm in the stock. And, and in terms of, you know, the, the market opportunity, well, Venmo has 40 million users. Google Pay has 150 million users. PayPal, 361 million users. Apple Pay, 441 million users. Alipay, 1.3 billion, but you have worldwide 7.8 billion. And then, you know, if you look at, at Apple Pay, uh, Google Pay, well, you, you know, those are part of the ecosystem. Apple is for iOS users, Google Pay is, is for those on Android, whereas Humble will work across both Android and iOS. So, you know, this is huge and why we think uh, Humble uh, is, is, is going to be very disruptive. And one of the, the, a key takeaway from the video, and this is extremely important, and, and I really like where the, the Brian Foote is going with this. He's being very forward thinking. He's already looking at using humble stock as a currency for buying other fintech companies. And, you know, at one billion, you know, I looked it up, the, the market cap of Western Union is nine billion. So it might be, it would be a stretch to, you know, for a $1 billion company to go and buy Western Union. But MoneyGram has just a $438 million market cap. So MoneyGram could easily be an acquisition target uh, for Humble. And, you know, the, the other thing that the, the base currency of uh, Humble is, the, is a U.S. dollar stable coin. So basically, it's also on the blockchain. There's a digital wallet, um, and you know it's it's not necessarily you want to own U.S. dollars, but it's the U.S. dollar stable coin. So this is very good for you know, for instance, if you're in Mexico, for able to use you know pesos uh, in in terms of you know you're not stuck with dollars. You have a stable coin that you can easily convert to pesos. So this is a there's a lot going for. Uh, what what humble offers? Um, let's see what else is is going on here. Um, we see here. So we talked about the market cap, the news, um, 
and and what I liked, you know, he brought up about the issues with uh, with Bexis, um, and this was this is a, um, a a company that he has he's signed a deal with um, to do a pilot uh, deal. And and Bexis Bank, it's it's one of the, the 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 smartest digital banks in Brazil. And and Brian Foot said on the call, you know, for them to pay, for instance, service providers in in the U.S., you know, there's three or four steps they need to take to make those payments. So, you know, you know, if if you do wire transfers, it's you know filling out paperwork. Whereas you know you want to be able to do something you know with an app. You know, stablecoin is much better um, because, you know, the individual country can can easily exchange their, um, you know, their own currency. Uh, and, uh, you know, so so his strategy with the with the blockchain, with the, the stablecoin, we think that makes a lot more sense than, um, you know, if he was to do the the the, the core um uh, monetary uh, base unit that, that they're based on. If it was the U.S. dollar, he might have some regulations in terms of that he would be an actual bank. So that's the other reason why he's also he's doing a stable coin. So, um, you know, it was just a wonderful call. We really recommend uh, everyone to go and, and listen to it. It, it, was, it exceeded our expectations. You know, I, I, I'm a natural skeptic um, because I've seen a lot of garbage in the OTC. Um, but, you know, the things they are doing and, and, you know, they're saying all the right things. And, um, you know, as, as a positive here, this, this news came out uh, on uh, the 9th. Uh, the merger had closed, but what was great is that uh, they're issuing warrants, uh, which will access, which will allow Humble access up to 50 million in equity funding. So, you know, th there's other some there's some other players that are saying, you know, the bears and shorts saying, well, oh, Humble, why did they, you know, merge with an OTC deal? Why did they go with TSMP? Why didn't they go a SPAC? This was, you know, the beauty, an, an OTC shell is just sitting there. It's just, you know, a TSNP was a perfectly clean shell, pink current, updated with their financials. It was just waiting for, for, for a deal to be merged. And this is happening in record time. Um, you know, we're not seeing enormous dilution. I mean, if you did a SPAC, you know, the sponsors of the SPAC, you know, they'll put in three, four hundred million, but they want a big chunk of the deal. This was a seamless way for for Humble to go public without, you know, significant dilution and to get basically trading in public right away. And as you see, they just did a, a, a warrant deal for 50 million. This will allow them to fund, you know, technology, you know, hire staff, you know, and, and, you know, speaking of staff, you go over here to, to, um, the team and, you know, this is impressive. I mean, just scroll through here and look at all the, the, the employees they have. So, you know, this is a varsity operation, you know, and, you know, we've tried to, we've done three articles on, uh, TSNP that we, we really suggest you, you know, go to, go to insiderfinancial.com and read all three. You know, if you are invested in Humble, do your research. You know, don't just listen to me, don't fast forward or don't, don't jump around or just, you know, look at the chart. You need to understand what you're investing in, you know, and, and do the research. And there's three articles on insiderfinancial.com that will really help you. The first one is TSNP Humble Merger is a really big deal. That lays it all out for you. Uh, TSNP, understanding the price action. Um, 
you know, this is, you know, and, and we've put out multiple, you know, uh, alerts and, and commented on it. And we even said, you know, uh, on November 17th, you know, when the stock had run, you know, I said many, many now are sitting on over 1,000% plus gains in TSMP. The TSMP humble merger is indeed a hot deal and there are more gains to come. However, it's important to know when to take some money off the table book some profits don't get greedy you know that is so important and and you know that's why you, you have people that had bought up here you know that are now down 50 percent crying well you know again you're supposed to wait for the red days buy the dips this is not you know there are other momentum plays you know for you know that we look for uh you know at insider you know we look for you know first green days we look for low floats there's a lot of other deals that you can you know uh you know play the momentum um right now this is not the momentum because there's a lot of people that got in early have a lot of profit and you know they're going to take some money off the off the table and remember stocks go up and stocks go down because of supply and demand if a stock is going up, that means there's more buyers than sellers. If the stock is going down, that means there's more uh, sellers than buyers. You want to be the reverse. You know, if there's more sellers, you want to be buying. If there's more more buyers, you want to be selling. So, you know, understand it's, it's human psychology is very important in investing. And then lastly, the, our third article, our last one was a, was a detailed analysis of who is CEO of Brian Foote? And, you know, we've also, um, there's another video that Insider Financial has uh, has done. Um, you can go over here. This was uh, a, a week ago that we went into details about, you know, TSMP, the biggest runner of 2020. We recommend you you watch the, the full video for 20 minutes. Um, you know, I'm not going to rehash everything that we discussed already in that video. You know, I'm not trying to tie up uh, all your night with, uh, with a ton of uh, information here. I'm trying to give you what's important and, you know, allow you to be able to make, you know, smart uh, investment decisions, uh, you know, for yourself. Um, so with that said, you know, I, I just want to reiterate that we really like the call. Um, we think TSMP Humble is, is going places, but it's not going to be a straight moonshot. You know, you're going to see a lot of volatility. And if you learn to play the volatility, you will make a lot of money in TSMP. Um, and with that out of the way, you know, um, remember, give us a uh, thumbs up, uh, go over and uh, sign up. Um, you know, we never post our alerts on social media. Um, only subscribers get the first look. Uh, and you can get a sign, you know, get access to those alerts by going to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Um, also, um, for those of you that are looking for some free stock, uh, you can go over to uh, in the link uh, in the description below. We have a link for Webull. Uh, they're running uh, promotions all the time. So if you deposit over $100, you can get uh, sometimes up to four free stocks, depending on what kind of promotion they're running. I know they're getting ready to run a few promotions uh, uh, geared around Christmas. So, um, you know, take 100 bucks, open an account, and uh, get some free stocks. It's commission-free trading, so it's, a, it's a another... Uh, freebie so you can do that um and uh you know lastly you know remember give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button uh comment below what your thoughts are on tsnp where we we, we try to respond to everyone uh and uh, we wish everyone the best of luck um have a profitable uh trading month uh december uh you know is is typically a, a good month so uh you know, again, just, uh, you know, buy the dips, sell the rips. On red days, look to be a buyer. On green days, look to be a seller. So uh, trade, a core. you know, if you, if you have a core position, you can uh, use that core position, then uh, trade around it. 
you know, trading around it means, you know, you keep your core and then, you know, let's say you buy stock today and it goes up 50%, you sell what you bought today, you sell that tomorrow, but you always keep your core uh, in case uh, you sell too soon because, again, you know, these are stocks, anything can happen, and, uh, you know, we just try to do, uh, uh, you know, the best we can, and we tell everyone, you know, listen to your gut. If it, if it, if it feels bad, get out, you know, just, uh, you know, it, this is your, you know, you're, you are your own fund manager. You need to listen to your gut, and you need to be, do what's best for you and your family to sleep well at night. So um, with that said, we wish everyone uh, luck. Uh, stay safe. Uh, COVID is ravaging the U.S. Uh, wear a mask, social distance, use common sense, um, you know, protect your loved ones, uh, especially any elderly. Um, and uh, we wish everyone the best. Uh, stay safe and uh, good luck. And we'll be coming to you soon with a uh, with, uh, new alerts for subscribers and new videos. So thank you again and uh, take care. Bye-bye.